What's up everybody, Aaron here. So some updates for Voyager Creditors, which is very, very good. It's like putting a candle on top of a pile of poo, but it's good news because you are gonna be getting more money. So this came out yesterday. Basically, more than $445 million are coming back to the Voyager estate. And I'll cover exactly where all that money is coming from and what that means for future recoveries for you. Now, what this is, is a global settlement agreement between FTX and Voyager. And what this is gonna do is grant mutual releases, resolving claims and disputes between Voyager and FTX. Essentially, Voyager had claims against FTX, and then FTX had claims against Voyager. And here, John J. Ray III of FTX talks about how expensive of it would be to have dueling debtor situations. So basically they came to an agreement, thank goodness, and this will bring a lot more money to Voyager creditors. So to start out, $445 million of a reserved amount is coming back to Voyager, including interest on this $445 million. Voyager is also going to get an additional $5 million deposit. They are releasing claims. Essentially, FTX can't sue Voyager and Voyager can't sue FTX anymore. So for the last eight months, they've been negotiating. Basically, FTX and Voyager have been negotiating, and it seems like they both think this is the best solution. In addition to the $450 million, there is also going to be a $14.35 million payout from the Directors and Officers Insurance, also known as the DNO Insurance. Steve Ehrlich, the ex-CEO of Voyager, paid approximately $1.9 million to the bankruptcy estate that is also going to be added to the pile. And get this, guys, I thought this was pretty crazy. Essentially, there is a fraudulent transfer claim. So what happened is days before the commencement of them going bankrupt, of Voyager declaring bankruptcy, Voyager decided to purchase additional directors and officer insurance to cover the additional costs of Voyager's directors and officers. So Voyager knew they were going to go bankrupt, and then they took that money to buy more insurance to basically protect themselves. So that is part of this no less than 14 $0.35 million that will be coming back to the Voyager estate. So next, Three Arrows Capital. Voyager is one of the largest creditors in the Three Arrows Capital bankruptcy. And on March 28th of this year, the court distributed $100 million of the Three Arrow Capital estate, and Voyager got $20.43 million of that. So that is also going to be money that will be coming back to Voyager creditors in the coming months. And Voyager expects that a lot more money will be coming back from the Three Arrows Capital Estate over the course of the next couple years. So get this guys, the next couple years as assets are liquidated, tokens unlocked, and litigation recoveries are achieved. In addition, $17 million of Voyager creditors' checks have not been cashed. And if they don't do so by, I believe, April 20th, that money, so right now, $17 million will come back to the estate and that will go back to the customers. So that's looking to be an approximately 25% increase in your recovery. Claims Market yesterday on Twitter said that FTX and Voyager agreed to release more than $455 million in claims, clearing one more obstacle to FTX's anticipated Chapter 11 exit later this year. So Claims Market believes that the FTX bankruptcy will end later this year. And taking a look right now at claims market, you can see as of the latest pricing, which is a couple days ago on April 5th, the highest bid and ask that I have ever seen. They are a marketplace where you can sell your FTX claim, and then buyers will scroll through all the claims, and then they will offer a price to buy it at. So basically right now, we are looking at incredibly high prices for FTX claims, the highest I believe it has ever been. So I'm not going to tell you to sell your FTX claim, but I will say that the upside for holding on to a claim right now is pretty darn limited. Everything that we're seeing from the court is that it is unbelievably unlikely that you will get more than 100% of your claim. Maybe a little bit more with interest, but really not that much. So by hypothetically selling your claim, you would get a wire transfer of that money directly into your bank account within, I think, two to three days or so. And then if you want, you can invest directly into the crypto market. If crypto goes up by 20, 30, 50%, you will then get that upside Whereas holding on to your FTX claim 
you have a limited upside potential. So that is one of the reasons that so many people have decided to sell their claim with Claims Market. You can see here the latest transactions and the minimum claim amount in the many, many hundreds of thousands of dollars, well into the millions of dollars. So if you have any questions about selling your claim, I'll include the Claims Market website below for you to reach out to them. So one of the big stories with FTX is that they have sold a lot of their locked Solana tokens. So they are selling their Solana tokens at $64 a piece, and that would have raised as much as $1.9 billion for the FTX estate. Now, the price of Solana is a lot more than $64. Right now, it's around $174. So they're selling Solana tokens for a discount, but these tokens are locked for four years, so that is the trade-off, basically. A lot of people are super upset about this, and they wanted these Solana tokens to go back to the customers, which would have been great, right? But that's not what's going to happen. So the FTX estate essentially has a lot of excess money from their anthropic investment to their Solana tokens. They can now, what we're seeing, pay other creditors and other companies like Voyager, like BlockFi, and maybe others down the road as well that have claims against the FTX entities and estate. So that is it for the video. I am super happy that Voyager creditors are going to be getting more and more payouts, which looks to be like quite a bit extra over the next couple months, but probably over the next like one, two, three, possibly even like five years, there's going to be a lot of money flowing back over the next couple years. So I'll keep you guys posted with everything going on with all the chapter 11 bankruptcies like I have over the last two years or so. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, talk with you soon, and bye for now.